Hello everyone. In today's video, we are going to talk about how to install Kali Linux NetHunter on an Android device, no root, step by step. Myself, Muhammad Zubair, and this channel is all about showing you how to become a highly paid IT pro really fast. So, without any further ado, let's get started. Well, to install Kali Linux NetHunter on your Android device, you must have at least 10 gigabytes of space available in your phone and you must have at least Android 11 version available. After having these prerequisites, you are good to go. Now, first thing first, we need to download some of the tools or you can say some of the applications in order to install Kali Linux NetHunter. First one is Termax. So I'll open my browser and I'll go to my GitHub link and I'll put the link in the description of this video as well. So here we have different versions available that we can download. I'll download the second one that is 64 bit and here it has started the download process and let's wait for it to get completed and then we'll move ahead. We are done here with the download and now let's open this one. I'll just go to its setting and do not worry, give the permission. After that, click on this install and it will install Termax into our Android device. After we are done with installation of our Termax, we need to download NetHunter store as well. So for that purpose, I'll go back to my browser. Here it is. And I'll put the link of this store in the description of this video as well. So from here, I'll just click on download store app. It will download store and it will help us to download some of the things that are required for our Kali Linux. So I'll just click on download anyway button. And here you see download process has just begun. We are done here with the download as you can see. And now we'll install this one as well. After that, click on this install button and this will get installed into our Android device. It will take a little bit of time, so let's wait for it. And as we are done with the installation, now we need to download an application from this store. And the name of the application is Kex. So I'll just search for Kex. And here you see we have NetHunter Kex available. I'll download it and I'll install this one into my Android device as well. It's very small in size, so it will not take a lot of time. So let's wait for it and then we'll see what we have to do next. So we are done here with the download of this application as well and now we need to install it. Go to your setting and give the permission and after that click on this or tap on this install button. Again it will take a little bit of time. So as you can see we are done here with this installation as well. Now let's go to our home and you see we have all of the applications available in here. So what we need to do now. And now we need to open this Termax application that we downloaded and used. Allow the notifications or go for the settings as per your liking. And now we need to write some of the commands in there. First command is Termax hyphen setup hyphen storage. It will take the storage permission from your device. Just go for it. And here my Android device asking for the permission. Allow the permission from here. And we are done for the first command. Now for the second command, I'll write here PKG upgrade or package upgrade. It will take a little bit of time, so be patient. Now from here, press Y and let's go again. Again, press Y, hit enter. So we are done here with the installation. And now what we need to do, we need to install wget because that will be required to install some of the application from the web source. So I'll write here PKG space install space wget hit enter or tap on enter and here it has started the process from here tap y tap on enter after that we need to write here wget space hyphen o and this time we'll go for capital o after that install hyphen net hunter paste and after that we have to paste a command in here so i'll just paste the command in here and i'll put the command in the description of this video as well tap enter and here it has started the process. And now if I ls here, you will see we have a file available with the name of install NetHunter Termax. At the moment, you will not be able to execute it because we have to change the permission for this particular file. So I'll write here chmod space and here I'll add the permission for the execution which is plus x. Give it a space and go for install hyphen NetHunter hyphen Termax. Press tab and we have successfully changed the permission. And now if I write here ls, you see now this file is executable. So now I'll write here dot slash and after that name of the application which is install hyphen nethunter hyphen termax. 
Now here it is asking that which choice do we want as the architecture for Kali. I'll go for the first option so I'll press 1, I'll tap enter and now it is checking everything that is needed. This will take a little bit of time so let it get complete and then I'll get back to you. We are done with the download and now it is extracting root fs and now you have to be really really patient in here because it takes time more than usual. And now it is asking if we want to delete the downloaded root fs files, press n, go ahead and we are done and now we have to write here net hunter tap enter and now we are into our kali and now we need to update our packages so the command for that is sudo space apt space update and do not worry the password is kali and everything is in lower letters so hit enter or tap on enter we are done here with the update of our packages let's just get out of it i'll write here exit after exiting from it now we need to enable the desktop mode for kali linux net hunter so for that you need to write here nh space or net hunter space kex space password or PAWSWD and hit the enter key. Now from here you have to set the password. It can be anything. It's all up to you. But it must be at least six characters in length. Okay password didn't match. Let me try it again. From here press N and do not worry. Hit enter. And now we have to start the VNC server. For that the command is net hunter or nh space kex space and here enter the end sign hit enter and here the service has started now get out of it and open the net hunter kex application that we downloaded from the store give the access and here we have to enter the password so i'll just enter my password which was one two three four five six and it can be anything in your case and after that just press or tap on this connect key on the top right corner and here you can see we have successfully launched the desktop mode of our Kali Linux into our Android device. Okay, there is one thing that I want to tell you and that is you might see an error onto your Kali Linux into your Android device that will say connection failed. Do not worry, it is because when your Kali Linux uses some extra resources from your Android device, it shows that error. Do not worry, we can get rid of that problem. It's a background process that kills your application that uses the excessive amount of CPU. We can fix this issue. Let me open just Termex one more time and here you can see we have the information about the error. Open the settings of your Android device and then go to its about section. And after that you need to tap 7 times onto your build number to activate the developer mode. So I'll just press 7 times and here I have to enter my pin. And you see developer mode is activated. Now go back and this time we need to open our developer options. So I'll just look for developer options in here. Here it is. And from here, allow the USB debugging. Tap on OK. After that, connect your phone with your laptop or your system and open this link. I'll put this link in the description of this video. Now from here, download SDK platform tools for Windows. Scroll down, agree with the terms and condition and download the SDK file. So here we are done with the download. I'll go to its folder. Here it is. And now we need to extract it into our C drive. So I'll just double click on it and I'll extract it in here. And here you see we have different files. Make sure to copy this path and open environment variables in your system. Here it is, I'll open it. And from here, click on this environment variables, click on your path, click on edit and click on new. From here, in here paste the path that you have copied earlier. Click on OK and click on OK and you are good to go. And this time we need to open our command prompt. So I'll just open that. And here if I write ABD devices, I'm sorry, it's ADB devices. And now we have to run some of the commands. I have added all the commands in the description of this video. And after you are done with running all the commands, go back to your Android device and open your Termex once again. In here, write the command as nh space kex space and sign it enter. And again, we have started the VNC server. Let's get out of it and open your NetHunter application one more time. Enter your password and connect and now you will not see that problem anymore. And you are good to go and you can use your Kali Linux NetHunter onto your Android device without root, without any problem. Here it is and it is working pretty fine. So that's it for this video. I hope now that you must have liked watching this one. And if that is the case, do leave a like, subscribe and press the bell icon. And if you have anything to ask regarding this video, do leave a comment below. I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Till the next video, take care.